Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at uh, upload and image processing with Laravel and Intervention Image. All images will be uploaded to Digital Ocean Spaces. Uh, the same approach will work with Amazon S3. What it's going to look like, we're going to have some upload form. We click on Select Image, we select the image and the upload will start. Now, once everything is processed, you'll see we're going to have four different versions of the image. This is the original one. Then we're going to have one which will use for small devices like um, handsets. Then we're going to have medium for tablets, large uh, things like a large tablets and uh, laptops as well as desktop version. So we're technically going to have four different, we generate four different versions of the same image keeping the source one as well. And as you can see, these images, first one, obviously I've uh, made it a grayscale, uh, then the other one has been flipped. Uh, the third one has been applied this, uh, has this diff weird filter applied to it. And the last one has been obviously flipped as well. All of them were also cropped to specific dimensions. Exercise files can be obtained at github.com uh, forward slash ssd hyphen tutorials forward slash laravel hyphen intervention hyphen image hyphen do hyphen spaces. Uh, so this is the repository uh, which you can obviously clone, fork and clone. Uh, the set how to set up project you've got you've obviously first cloned the repository then you cd into it uh, install composer dependencies then copy env file into dot env generate the uh, the key for the application using php artisan key generate then uh, we run php artisan migrate and seed but not before you update the env file let me just show you our env file so once you've copied it make sure that obviously you've updated the database credentials you have to create local database and obviously uh, fill in username and password for the database as well uh, and then obviously run this php artisan migrate uh, and see it so that you will have some uh, random records generated so then you can click on it and obviously get to the form uh, which will then allow us to associate images with that given product record because these are products uh, going back uh, lastly before you can actually launch the project in the browser you're gonna have to install npm dependency and recompile them basically generating the CSS and JavaScript files. Once all this is done, you can open the project in the browser, which is what I've got here. But let me show you what we have within our uh, project. So the project has been prepared, so we don't have to play with JavaScript or CSS at all. Uh, now our ENV file, you'll see I've added file system uh, driver and image driver. Uh, variables. Uh, I've set it to public to start with and that's what I would like you to start with as well. Now I'm using image magic locally but by default uh, the env.example uses gd. If you don't have image magic don't worry just use gd and that's that's absolutely fine. I've also added variables for digital ocean spaces so you have uh, all the blank uh, variables ready for when we actually going to be connecting to uh, spaces. Uh, other than that, everything is as standard. So I'm going to close this file for now. What else? Uh, if you look at the package, JSON, uh, you'll see we have all the dependencies that we are using during this course. I've created very simple upload, as you've seen um, in uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, we have this file uploader, which is taking care of, of actually pushing the files to the server and then removing them when we click specific link as well. Uh, we have a simple progress bar as well. All this is ready for us because I didn't want to spend on uh, time on this. This course is purely for Laravel and Intervention Image, plus obviously connecting to digital ocean spaces, nothing else. We're not going to be playing with JavaScript or CSS here. Okay, our um, Tailwind, I'm using Tailwind here for the, for the layout and Webpack also is also all set up. Uh, what else? If we look at the composer JSON, you'll see that I've added uh, the file to the auto load section uh, under the app helpers. And this is because I'm using a simple helper here, DS, which is basically providing we, uh, me with the directory separator. You can obviously pass uh, arguments uh, to this uh, function as well, and that will, and it will concatenate them with the directory separator. So that's just a handy, handy uh, function to have here.
as well. I haven't installed intervention image yet. Uh, we will install this later on. Same as the uh, driver for the uh, for the actual cloud connection later on for the uh, the Amazon AWS S3 one because that's the one we're going to be using with DigitalOcean Spaces as well. Uh, but we'll deal with this when we actually get to that point. Okay, what else do we have here? If you look at the if we look at the views, you'll see we have this index one which just displays the products, uh, and then we have a product one which has the entire layout, uh, one that you can see when you actually click on one of those products. All this is already prepared, so we can click on this and you can see this uh, view component upload component is all working uh, so the only thing that is actually missing is what's processing the upload uh, processing of the images and storing them in uh, reference to them in the database obviously plus pushing them to the uh, to this uh, spaces okay we have one model which is product in the moment, very simple model with just a name. We have a database uh, migration for it. As you can see, it's just a name, ID, and timestamps. Uh, we have a factory for this as well, which we're going to be using with our tests. We have a seeder for it, uh, which is obviously being called from within the database seeder, product seeder, which again creates five records, which is what we did when we set up the project. If you look at the repository when we run uh, the PHP artisan migrate and seed that's obviously been used to generate those records. Uh, I've also created uh, some tests to start with. Where are they? Uh, tests. There we go. Uh, so I've, I've created the trait with some response um, assertions for when the record's been created and what records, uh, what response should be received and that sort of thing. So these will be useful as well when we're going to start writing tests. Uh, we have just a single test class as well for displaying the records on the landing page. What else have we go? If we go to the config, under the config, under the file system, I've added a section for spaces, uh, which is then pulling the env variables from the env file, the ones that we've already created. We'll be using S3 drivers, I've explained earlier. And then we have uh, added as well the max size, so we can specify what the maximum file size we want to allow for the upload. A, I'm not entirely sure if I've uh, modified anything else here I don't think I did so that would be the config section then uh, providers in the app service provider I've specified that uh, the maximum length for the string uh, for the varchar should be 191 that is if we are using indexes so we don't exceed that then root service provider we haven't done here anything yet we will deal with this later uh, we have a controller here as well, product controller, again, for the list of products uh, which is being displayed um, when we go to the landing page under the products. This is the controller for it, obviously, with the associated test, which I've shown earlier. And I think that's pretty much everything. If I've missed something, I'm going to get back to it, obviously, when we are going to uh, use the given uh, a component or element uh, but that's it for this video I just wanted to show you what we've got uh, in the next video we're going to start with the first test